Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumpy Studio, and today I'm here with a brand new video for you guys. I am going to be um, reviewing the newest Diary of Lumpy Kid book, book 17, Diaper Overload. Um, I'm sorry this is a few weeks late. Um, I've just been really busy with stuff, and I'm still busy with stuff, but I wanted to make time um, to get this out before it kind of dies down. Um, so, and then also, you know, there's a new Wimpy Kid book coming up. It's not like a new one. Um, it's the, it's like an, it's pretty much Roderick Rolls with a new cover to set up the whole animated special, which comes out December 2nd, which I'll also be reviewing. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get that cover, the new cover book though, because it's really not worth it. Like, it's really not worth that 10 bucks that you're spending for it when I really already have the book. It would be different if, like, it was, like, that 3D style in the book, you know? Like, he changed it. But no, it's not. It's literally just the same book again. So I just really don't think it's worth it to get it. But regardless, let's, um, let's discuss this book. So I really enjoyed this book. And Akshay and I, my friend, um, and I'll, I'll link him in the description below, too. Um, we were both kind of if on the last two books, especially The Deep End. Big Shot was a little bit better, and I haven't had a chance to talk to him about um, Diaper Overload yet, um, but personally, I thought this was a major upgrade from the previous two books. I thought um, it was very funny. I liked the plot. Was it over the top and unrealistic? Yes. Um, it, well, it wasn't as bad as the other two. I would say this was actually maybe even a bit better than a big shot as, as terms of being realistic. I think they kind of stuck with a good plot and I like that about it. I also really like that it was mainly about Roderick and his band members. I think that was like a nice break because no offense to Greg, but there's only so much you can do with a character. And I would honestly read a whole series about Roderick and his band members. Like I, I would. Um, and I think almost this book kind of sets up a potential for a Roderick spinoff series. Because I think this book did really well. Um, I think um, Greg um, taking a bit of a back burner almost did good for the book. Just having him like be in the background. Kind of like observing the whole Roderick's thing. I, I think it's a nice change. Um, it makes the story a little bit more interesting. Um, it doesn't necessarily focus on Roderick, the character, which maybe I was a bit disappointed in. It was just kind of more him and his band members. It wasn't specifically about him. Yet we actually saw him in the plot, which I think is great. Um, and honestly, this is kind of like the year of Roderick because we get the Roderick Rolls animated movie as well as him having a pretty big role in this um, book. So... Um, uh, let me open up. So w one thing I do really like about the books is the um, is is this. So it kind of so it shows Greg, of course, and the person. And this is typically like who he's dealing with in the book, the antagonist or the other main character. It's actually um Bill. Um, and then we have Roderick and his band members, and then Mom, Manny, and um the dad. So I will say. Um, Mom, Manny, the dad, they're all really non-existent in this book. They really have no role in it whatsoever, except for a few odd uh, parts in it. Um, nothing that memorable, which I'm personally fine with. I really don't need them in it, but I will say my biggest complaint is Rally. Rally is nowhere to be seen in these books anymore, and that does disappoint me. Like, the last book I think he had a good role in was, um... Wrecking Ball, and he actually had a pretty big role in, in that. So I do miss Rally, and I really don't understand why he's not in the books anymore. He was in, like, one page again, and he was in, like, one page of the Deep End and one page of the Big Shot. So I I don't know. And plus, Jeff Kenny discontinued the Rally series, so I don't... I don't know. It's just, like, we're not getting any Rally anymore, and it's kind of unfortunate. I would understand it a bit more if, if you know, there just wasn't any room for him yet... Jeff Kenny would still continue the rally books, but he's not. So I just don't know. It kind of disappoints me, though. Um, but, I mean, I, I really do like the basic plot. 
it's pretty much they're trying to get famous. They're doing all of these things. A few things I did like, I like the hands on the van thing. I think that was pretty funny. Um, it was, it was weird, but I, I liked it. Um, you had to keep both hands, well, no, you had to keep one hand on there. Um, and the person who, um, who keeps their hand on the van the longest gets the van. So that was their plan, but they were actually like, Roderick and Bill were the last two. Um, but there were people on the other side of the van that they didn't know about, which was actually pretty funny. I like that. Um, I also liked them taking pictures at the mall. That was funny. Um, I like seeing Roderick just get more of a personality in this book, though, is the thing. He, like, is actually kind of funny. He comes up with funny ideas. He takes charge. And these last few books, he just really hasn't had a personality, in my opinion. So I, I, I do really like that he does get more of that this season. I liked when they, um, um, like, record their music and just how that just does just, just not go wrong. I like how they brought in Metallica as like a uh, inspiration in a way. I like that they they brought in their rival um, band. Um, I like that they, that they brought in their rival band too. And how Bill was kind of a traitor. Um, I like that. Um, and yeah, there was just a lot of like good um, stuff in this, in this book. I, I, I think the plot was like engaging enough. I liked it a lot more than basketball because basketball is just, no, it's just, I just didn't really think it worked for this series, and the road trip is getting exhausting, so this was actually a really, a really nice, um, new idea that Jeff Kinney came up with, and I personally think this could be in my top five favorite books, um, overall. Um, I, I'll come out with a ranking again eventually, it's just kind of tricky because my ranking updates, you know, every book. So how am I supposed to, you know, fit it in? And I'm not going to do a whole video in between each book because then I, I keep repeating everything that I said in the last one. So I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say my ranking right now. I'm sure down the road I'll make another video and you'll find out exactly where this ranks, but I will say top five for sure. Um, the ending, you know, they didn't, um, um, they didn't, um, win obviously in fact they really didn't get anywhere as a band but all that i guess that matters is that they grew closer as a band um greg actually like got thrown in at the end and i thought that was kind of cool um so i really do like i really do like the plot of this book um i, I highly recommend it. i think i give it like a 9.5 out of 10 the only thing i didn't like was no rally um and how he's just really not a part of the of the thing anymore but I just really think that the ridiculous ideas and how to get famous is just, it, it, it's, it's hilarious, first of all. It doesn't feel forced, it doesn't feel over the top. It's just really, it's just really well done. Um, and yeah, they're, so, um, let, let me think, anything else? That's pretty much it. I like the Hippo, Hun Hippo Henry's thing. That, that was kind of funny. Um, if you didn't understand the reference, you can ask below and on all. And I'll comment, but um, the Warwick sprint uh, sprinter thing, the rock legend, that that was that was cool too. I really liked how they were like trying to get inspiration by talking to these people, um, and how you know they even said um, they even said that people just aren't really interested in bands or like you know rock and roll bands nowadays. You know, um, but I kind of like that struggle and seeing them overcome it. I think that was really really well done. So. Yeah, coming up, um, the new Roderick movie, I'm, I'm super pumped about that. Um, comment down below if you are. I think that'll be really fun. Um, so I'll be giving a review on that. I, I did a trailer reaction that I, I'll link down below. I'll also link Akshay's channel down below so you can check out his channel. Um, but yeah, it was a great book. Again, 9.5 out of 10. Comment down below what your ranking is. Um, I don't know what my next video will be. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but... For now, thanks so much for watching my studio. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye everyone.